What's up guys, it's Brendan from Market Makers. We're gonna spend a lot of time today on the three rising valleys pattern. It's all over YouTube, so let's answer some of the questions. Guys, I have a pattern that could take us up to 55K, break us out of this rut, and I got another pattern that's printing that could drop us down, test that key support at 41K, possibly 39K, and possibly change the market structure for Bitcoin in a negative way. We're gonna dive into that in this video, so stay tuned for that, but real quick, we need to talk about our exchange that we trade on, my friends. It is BitGet. BitGet and Market Makers is hosting a private tournament. There is a prize pool for this tournament. I got all the literature coming soon. We're targeting the New Year's time frame. If you sign up with our BitGet link in the video description, you can start to unlock $630 in bonuses. A lot of you might not know who BitGet is. It is a top five exchange in the crypto space by volume, the most security certificates of any of the top five exchanges, super secure, super liquid, highly suggest you check them out. That's where I trade, it's where a lot of our room trades is a great place to trade, my friends, a great API, it never crashes, okay? It is not Binance, it never crashes. But guys, let's jump into the patterns and talk about what we're looking at. The three rising valleys, before we drill down to this, let's go over really quickly for the overview View. We need to look at the macro time frames here. It's a weekly time frame. Starting to lose our angel number, as you can see, on the on the Darvis box in the Wyckoff price cycle. Okay. And again, if we did lose this, we're going to be testing the bottom, which is at 41.3, 41.4 number, depending on your exchange, where Bitcoin bottomed out before. And if we lose the next level of 39x. That is catastrophic for Bitcoin and you're going hardcore bear at that point, okay? So we need to be very, very attentive to that. But it looks like we have some downward momentum. So that's the weekly time frame. Where are we at in the weekly Navarro pattern? We're dropping below that fib, right? Remember, this is exactly what we talked about the other day that I don't want to see happen. Left shoulder, head. We don't want to print a right shoulder with downward momentum because we already have a neckline and we have a market structure target of 10,781. Confluence with our PRZ, our point D of this pattern of 10,871. This doesn't have to happen. I'm showing you it as a possibility that it could happen if we print a right shoulder and have downward momentum. This is a macro weekly time frame. You could see this would be catastrophic to Bitcoin, okay? Now, guys, the daily time frame, looking at all the key support I spent a lot of time on this showing you volatility so let's look at this the 200 moving average is right here okay your 200 moving average you tested it you're trying to stay above it this is key to stay above if you drop the below the 200 you can already see where your most likely destination is going to be you have no volatility trend lines of course you have other means of support here but the likely destination is at 41.3 the bottom of the Darvis box and returning to the PRZ of the white swan, okay? So we need to watch this closely. Now let's go to, oh, the four hour time frame. So guys, if you're in our room, again, our Discord link is in a video description as well. I posted this trade last night. This is a bearish cipher trade. You would have caught this pattern. You would have caught this drop in the price if you took this trade. The Bitcoin drop of eight and a quarter percent was posted in a bearish cipher. I personally entered just above 49.6 caught this drop, got out on the rebound. Nice little trade, guys. Like I said, an 8% drop peaked the trough. So these are the type of trades you get in our room. You should come check our room out. That link is in the video description. Three rising valleys, guys. This is really important to talk about. And I'm a visual person, okay? Like I said, this is the key market structure. Let me turn the magnet off. This is the key market structure, this range. If you get below 39K, I showed it to you on the Wyckoff. You get below this valley too, your primary trend has changed to bearish. We don't want that to happen, right? Anybody holding coins, anybody that wants this market to stay alive for, the, for another six months, a year, whatever, how long it lasts, we need this to stay bullish, okay? But let's drill down into this because what you have to do is open up your four-hour time frame. You can see I have my Darvis boxes here encapsulating volatility. I got to show you two patterns that are forming as we speak. And these are very important patterns, okay? So what you have right now happening is a volatility compression pattern. You can see this. There's actually multiple patterns happening here, but I'll show you this first. We have a volatility compression pattern, okay? You go from 10.8% 10, 10 down to 8%. This is two waves in a volatility compression pattern. Usually you get two to four waves, and then you get a pivot and a breakout point, okay? So I expect if this plays out to get a third wave, 
Bitcoin's going to come back up some. Where could it come back up to? Well, let's look for a pattern. Okay, let's draw a pattern. Put my magnet on. Actually, I need to come. I'm going to come from up here. Let's do it this way. Encapsulate all the extreme points here to get an accurate pattern. My C point and my D point would be right about there. So what is this? This is a Batley. It's a cross between a Bat and a Gartley. This gives you a first PRZ destination of 55,478, okay? This means this next wave or Bitcoin could pop out of this compression pattern and come up, get some upward momentum. This is a bearish pattern, but it is upward movement, right, which is important. So in other words, for people who aren't familiar with this, price goes X to A to B to C up to D and then reverses because price moves in waves. It's constantly going up and down, peaks and valleys, right? So this is what it does. Now, this is this, even though this is a bearish pattern, is bullish because you're getting the price up, okay? As long as it doesn't keep retracing past where it started, then it's a bullish pattern in that sense. But it is a bearish pattern, meaning when you hit the PRZ, price will retrace. Hopefully it finds support like at 52,255. You establish a new trading range and they make a new pattern and move back up, okay? But this pattern is here, it is present, and we could see price try to move up to it. However, doesn't have to guys, it doesn't have to, and this pattern can change, especially if we end up making a new low, which we may, be, may have made while I'm talking to you here. Let me see, I don't know what that range is. Let me see, this is, uh, the low here is 46,634 versus 46,747. Yep, new low. So you are still in a bat pattern here. So it's still the same pattern. So this is a bat Gartley. It is a mixture because of the measurements of a bat and a Gartley. It looks kind of ugly, but that's what it is, guys. And uh, that pattern gets us up to that PRZ at your first level, and your second level would take you up to the 886, which would be right about here, 57, 57,200, 57,250, somewhere in there. It would get you right about there at the 886. So this is two different PRZs. Again, this would be the top of our Darvis box. So both of these make sense. The second PRZ would be the BAT PRZ, which makes more sense to me up here at the top of the Darvis box testing this resistance. So this would be a nice trade up, right? This would be a nice trade up. Now let's get rid of that. Now let's look at this. What is this compression pattern? Okay, this is VCP. This is volatility compression pattern. Now this is actually forming bearish. So we have... We have to like look at what we have. We have a we have a bearish pattern, but calls for price to rise, and then we have a bearish bearish compression pattern. But why do I say it's forming bearish? How can you tell? Well, a couple of reasons. Okay, so basically you want a baseline for a compression pattern. Let's say this trend line is a compression pattern. Okay, so you get your first wave, the deepest wave. Then you get your second wave, shallower wave. Then you get your third wave, even shallower wave, all testing basically that trend line. And then you get your pivot point and you get a price explosion, okay? That's how this works. Now, what this is doing, unfortunately, is it's getting shallower towards the baseline. What do I mean by that? I mean, you have your first wave and you have your second wave and it's coming this direction. Do you see that? See how it's tightening going down? We don't want it to tighten going down. We want it to tighten going up testing the top trend line here okay so this is tightening going down this could be easily construed as bearish how do you know when these things break i've showed you guys this in a previous video but basically your volume will come down to a minimal level okay you'll get minimal volume you get volume constriction your volatility will come to a baseline so this isn't close to forming now which is why i think you're gonna have another little wave up okay so we may have a third wave before this breaks and volatility comes down, volume constricts like a coiled snake, boom, it explodes, just like it did before when I showed you that compression pattern here. We had the compression pattern break down and drop us, okay? That was off a of volatility compression pattern. It's doing the same thing again. Now, another pattern you could notice from looking at this, guys, let's go ahead and look at this really quick. On the eight hour time frame, always important to look at your larger time frames. On the eight hour time frame, you have what looks to be a double top, right? So let me go ahead and show you this as well. Turn this magnet off. You can see this forming basically from here. This could be a double top. This could also be a head and shoulders. This is an eight hour time frame. And you see this? So you have this pattern 
forming right here as well. And you have a neckline, which is a Darvis box as well, 46,747. Again, Darvis box is encapsulating price volatility, which is doing a great job doing. So if you can stay above the 46,747 and 463 and start moving back up, you will also have another wave of your compression pattern. And again, you can see the compression pattern in all the different time frames, okay? Because you can just pull this here, come down to your base. There's your wave one. Here's your wave two, which is still currently printing, but your current low is right here. See the compression, 10.33, 8.34. That's the candles moving closer together, and as it tightens, it will eventually explode, okay? So again, multiple patterns. Got a pattern showing us we go up to 55, 57K. We have a compression pattern that looks to be breaking down. Now it could explode up. It could explode up, but it looks to be breaking down because it's testing this bottom baseline instead of the top top trend line. Okay, so that's the danger there. Um, and then we have then we have this double top as well, guys. And on top of that, the SPX is back and forth. So we got a lot of different things going on. That that Dow's down one percent. The SPX is down three quarters of a percent. So a lot of different things to watch. And a lot of different, you know, the Fed meeting as well is Tuesday, Wednesday. So the Fed starts meeting tomorrow. I don't know if an announcement will come out tomorrow, comes out Wednesday, could come out at any, any time. All this will affect the price movement. So you got to track patterns in both directions. And the way I trade as a trend breakout trader, I'm looking for the pivot point. And basically for me, that pivot point is going to be pivot down or to pivot up, okay? And if we're pivoting up to check 55, 57, what a great trade that will be. And if we're pivoting down, going to short it. That's just how we view Bitcoin, guys. We trade up and down in the market. If you guys like this type of TA, come check out the room. Love to see you there. The Discord link is in the video description. Smash up the likes for me. Help me out in the algorithm. Really appreciate it. Thanks, guys, for your support. Happy trading, everybody. Another update coming tomorrow.